Hey, welcome back everybody coffee and art in the morning so now we're going to make some art cards and i usually make about eight at a time they're collage mixed media collage art cards um where's my sample ones i should have pulled those out let's see what did i do with them um hmm. i keep a few sample ones because I never can show. I give them all away. Oh, and by the way, happy hump day, everybody. <laughs> happy hump day. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Dragon. It's not doing it to me, so we'll see. Ustream's being uh, a PETA today. Okay. Well, hopefully everything's recording. I have no way of knowing while I'm doing it. Okay, so here's a few of my cards that I keep for samples. And they're bigger than ATC. They're the, like the Project Life size 3x4. Uh, and uh, that's the size that I make my art cards. Let's see. Let's tilt the camera over here. Let me get my camera kind of set here so I can squeeze in eight cards. That's how many will fit under the camera. And so this is just some heavy-duty card stock. But you can use whatever. I just use card stock for the bases. And they're 3x4. Oh, the recording worked? Okay, thanks. Thanks, Dragon Slayer. So here's some of the samples that I've kept to show you guys, because I give them away. And the only time I make them anymore is on stream, and I haven't made any for a while. So here's some of the ones that I've made. And I do need to pull out some more collage bits to play with. So you can see some of my samples here. So that's a few of them. Uh, I have a couple other ones in here. Here's one I like. This one. Like this. So, yeah, so these are some of the, my samples. Um, here's one with the bird. Like this one. I don't put too many people in them. Once in a while, I'll put some people like that. Because I feel you're the person. You are the person in the, in the piece. Okay, and I've also made different sizes, like, put these to the side here, let me rubber band these. I've made little, little inchies, small ones, don't know how well you can be able to see, I can't get too close because it'll um, just fade out. This one here. So you can see these are tiny. I don't really make these anymore. I mean, I've made them a few times, but I've made them for myself, you know. <clears throat> But uh, I make, I pretty much make them all three by four nowadays. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, so you can do this a couple different ways. I say you can, you know, if you like to make collage mixed media cards, you can do them a few different ways. And I, I kind of mix up how I do them. The process is usually the same as far as the glue, the paint, the, the I varnish them all. I paint the backs black. Um, you know, there's a lot of the same, the same stuff. But you can start out with either just, you know, random gluing like, let's see, uh, let me find some get some watch bits actually I love putting time the element of time and all so let me pull out a couple of uh, I'm just gonna rip out some 
magazine clock watches and clocks that are handy. Oh, I like this one. I'm just right here ripping out some stuff out of magazines. Let's see. And I want them a certain size for my cards here. Like, like, like that size right there. This one's kind of cool. Let's see. I'll readjust and focus the camera here again in a minute, guys. Let's see what else. If y'all have any questions, put them in caps. So I see you. That might be, a, oh no, that might be enough because I'll cut them in half. Here's another one. This is kind of like a sports one or something. Let's see. Thanks, Dot. All right. That may be enough. That may be enough. Okay, so sometimes I will start by just gluing everything on, like all different uh, elements. And uh, where's my little scissors? Where'd they go? Here we go. Oh. I might start with, you know, and I do like to t I tell y'all to tear. I don't care about the edge back here, but uh, when you go to... Uh, paint on these. Okay, hang on, guys. I gotta readjust. It's really weird lighting or something. There we go. But I don't want it to kind of zoom in and out. You know how that does? Turn the brightness down just a little because of the white cards. Maybe that's good. Let's try to autofocus one more time. Okay. Um, you can do all kinds of parts and just kind of rearrange and play with uh, your images first. And maybe I'll do half and half. I'll do half and half. I'll do some with the start with just um, pieces. And then I think some I'll start with a uh, like a background. I, I like to... Um, Sorry, I gotta kind of. I'm thinking and doing three things at once. <laughs> I like elements of time, and so I, I usually have watches in all my not all of them, but you know, a lot of most of them. I'll put watches because it has an element of time. I can do space, I can do the watch hands. Like, here's an example I paint in the watch hands myself, and do and then this is all paint. This is paint here with just a little element of something down there. So, okay, let's see, Here's, this one's on a clock, let's take that out, and I like the fact that there's one over piece overlaying the other, and, uh, oh, so what I was going to say is, is torn images are easier to blend with paint than cut ones. You can do it either way, but the torn edges will blend away quicker and easier than cut ones will. Bye, Jerry. Thanks for stopping in. All right, let's see. Uh, do I want... This one's kind of cool with a different color. Hey, May. Anybody else I missed? Thanks for being here, guys. On hump day, Wednesday, after the holidays, can chill and make some art. One more. need one more. Let's see. Let's go with this one here. Okay. Oh, let's give us a start. And I don't keep this stuff. I don't have room to keep. I have drawers, bins, magazines, calendars. And y'all know, and I'm going to pull some calendars here. Um, don't forget, the first week in February, 
that's where you can get a lot of good oop, a lot of good uh hang on i think i need to well, let me close my blinds here your calendar pages my bar my books a million has calendar pages i mean calendars go on sale the first week of february three dollars three dollars a calendar any calendar that includes leather journals planners calendars date books anything calendar related they all go on sale for three dollars the first week of february so i always try to stock up these are some of my leftovers from last year i got some uh space i got a bunch of fractals and uh, the, that's what these are all leftover leftover fractals like this look how cool that looks oh, what else do I have in here this one here's a bit of this one and so my point was of pulling this out is you can most of the time when I'm doing art cards I do it like this I start with just little tiny things and paint and start you know one thing one little bit at a, a, a time but you can also start with like you know almost practically covering up your card okay you can almost do this let me cut this one down a little you can do either or whatever you know you feel like doing so something like that that might be a good start right there I just like to paint my own uh, space scenes and you know all that myself so I usually don't um, I usually don't start with a big base like that but I want to show y'all a couple different ways so here's this one like this maybe we'll put part of it and again when I'm gluing things down like this I don't care if things are hanging over the edge because um, I'll just trim it off later and I don't care if they look similar because I give them away so nobody's gonna get the same one you know they're different okay let's see here here's some green so let's stick with more of the let's go with some of this again I usually do my own outer space my own nebulas and stuff but let's go ahead and take a little bit of this just to show that you can start with a base if you don't want to if you don't want to do your own outer space you can um, <laughs> you can start with space already done for you but like I said I usually do my own I'm trying to see if anybody has any questions put them in caps okay otherwise I'll miss them so we'll do something like this just to get it started and also on New Year's um, our New Year streamathon which if you want to see the uh, schedule for that uh, it's on uh, the musical scrapper dot blogspot um, Jean she has a um, she has a schedule of all the streamers for the streamathon on New Year's Eve okay I don't, I don't know why I, I'm having this issue here with the lighting flashing I thought I turned all that off let me look there we go I just don't like it zooming in and out and my camera's a little crooked there we go all right let's see what else I want to put on here to start with some cool oh this look at this fractal this is awesome this one's cool this one I love this one maybe we'll go with some of this because it seems like we got a lot of orange kind of thing going on here maybe we'll do a little of this Maybe a little of that. New Year's Eve Streamathon link. Yeah. 
Musical Scrapper Dot Blog Spot. Yeah, that's Sassy Pants Jean. <laughs> and let's see, we need two more. Just, do I just want to go with that? Maybe I'll just go with this. And let's see what else. One more here. Maybe some more of the space stuff here. Let's go with let's go with this. One. We'll go with that. Okay, so now we got some base. It's all about the base. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let me move this. Now let me find some other little things. So you can use all oh oh look at these fractals. I love these fractals. But I think I'll stick with those. I've already. Yeah. All right. So now let's see. What drawer? I got drawers of stuff over here. And this drawer of stuff or this drawer of stuff. Okay. Here. We'll, we'll do this. This is a good help. This is a good help for you guys. In case you haven't done this before. Um, we finished counting down. To Christmas Eve countdown sleep streamathon for sleep sister. Oh, we're counting down to New Year's. Is that what you're saying, Jean? I, uh, Jean, I'm sorry. Those are a little bit too many typos. <laughs> I usually read your typos, Jean. I don't know. Hmm. So it starts Sunday morning at seven. I'll be here at seven thirty. Okay. All right. So you can take things like, all right, here's some calendar pages. This is from a museum calendar. Um, but the thing about using these kind of things, guys, you don't have to use the whole image. All right. Let's say, all right, here's a good one. Here's a, like a comb from, it looks like it's from the UK found I don't know when it was from or when it was but anyway but you don't have to you don't use this whole image just use bits of it like these little people right here I might just take out some of them and depending on what, how big this is all the same way I'm doing this is the same way I do my big art journal pages let me move that up just a little the same way I do my art journal pages with mixed media collage Oh, four sleeps until the streamathon. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Um, it's the same way I do the large, my large pages. Like, let me just grab one here. Oh, here's another magazine. No, that's the color book one. Hang on. Okay, maybe this one. So it's the same. These are my dilutions journals that I did a faux leather finish on. And let me just flip to one here. A couple of pages that are done like this. So here's a large double page spread in my dilutions. So it's just big, right? And lots more to it. <clears throat> see if I got some more done in this book. There's one. The same thing I'm doing here, but just smaller. Let's see, do I have an else in this one? This is the newer of the four. So not as many pages done in this one. Here's one. Okay, and it's also the same that I do in my, it's the same thing I do in my um, altered books, except you're starting with a base. So if you think you might like doing mixed media collage, you know, get you a book that you want to alter and paint on and and collage on top rather than starting with a blank page if you start with a, a, a 
an uh, alter a book to alter then you have something to already work with okay let's find another page in here that's done this one's got tons and tons of pages done in this one and i've done flips and flips of these um let's see so it's the same kind of thing you're doing paint and collage but you don't have to start with a blank page when you have an altered book. You have something already to start you on. You don't have to um, start with just a plain white page. Let's see here. And, uh, and y'all, I've shown these a whole bunch of times and we work in them all the time. But I just want to show you guys that you don't have to start with a blank page. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's good enough for examples. Okay. So we're doing the same kind of thing here, just smaller. Just tinier. Okay, so now let me look through a couple more magazine bits. And again, you know, calendar bits, magazines. I don't put many, like I said earlier, I don't put many people in mine. Oh, I did pick, pick these little statuettes, though. I don't put too many people in mine. Um, but, you know, you can put whatever you like. Um, here's some more watches that I missed. Those are good. Let me just flip here. Okay, here's some. I'm going to start whistling. Too big. I'm gonna have to cut that off. It's too much there. Are y'all planning to stream a thon out? Uh, rocks, cliffs, water, minerals, anything like you know, earth. That all looks good in your collage. Um, but here, let me give you an example here. Here's a piece of a boat. Here's a piece of a boat. And I always tell you all this, don't look at things like what they look like, like this. Turn them sideways, turn them upside down, turn them right side up. Look, you can make... See, now that looks like little buildings. See how that looks like buildings? And they're the tips of boats. Let's see? So turn your stuff different ways. Go with that one like that. Know what I mean, Vern? Okay. I guess y'all are just chilling. I have enough of those. Y'all still, am I still here okay? Let me do a test here, guys. Chat's moving, so I guess we're good. I think people are just discuss, discussing the stream a thon. Um, but all kinds of textures are cool. Let me find another texture here. That's a good example. Thanks, Terry. Um, you know, little bits of trees water because i'm going to paint in my own water stars all that stuff 
I'm trying to find as many examples as I can. Thanks, Jamie. Um, okay, here's a good another example. Here's a part of a car. This is like a window in a car. But don't look at it just like, oh, that's a car window. Look at all the other bits. Like if you just look at some of the stuff by color. Just keep tearing it down, turning it. And you'll see all kinds of cool things. Let's see which one do I want to use this on? Maybe over here. Let's tear this down. And when you, if you, um, like I said, when you, if you tear it, it will blend better when you go to paint. I want it like that. Yeah, because I want that star to cover that up. Hey, Elizabeth. All right, let's keep flipping magazines here. Do I need any of this? That's cool how her little face just, I'll keep her face. Although I don't use many people, like I said, but that one kind of just worked. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? I'm trying to find some texture things because textures are good. Don't need too much more. A couple of little buildings or something here. Here's some more. Okay, here's a good example. Look at these rocks and walls. And it can go all different ways, too. Don't just look at it one way. Look at it upside down, right side up. Like I like this little bit right there. I'm trying and also looking at color. Here we go. I think I'll tear this in half. Have some stars, some of this. I think I want it. I do want it to go this way though, because I want the I want that to be on top. See? You just kind of shift things around, move things around, and just play until you get this this pro this is the part of the process that for me takes the longest but it's also the fun part well I also like the painting and the details like I like both but you know it, it just takes a while it takes a while for you to you know shift things around till you find what you like so again some of these rocks do I need anything else oh, no that one's good maybe another little piece of a building let's see all right here's some more little building We'll do it this one. Maybe this way. No, nope, let's go that way. Okay, there's that. Okay, I think I'm going to start. I mean, I could probably add a bunch more stuff. Uh, jewelry. Um, let's see, do I have a piece of jewelry calendar here? Let me see. Flowers. Flower parts. Who's messaging me? Oh, let me turn it. Now, I'm on a group text accidentally. Well, I mean, not accidentally, but I'll be on a group text. Uh, flower bits. Parts of flowers. That one's kind of cool, actually. I kind of like that. Might be too much, though. I saw you. I was on a group text or something. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Are you leaving? Yeah. Are you, are you going to the lake? I'm going to the post office. Oh, going to the post office. Do I have something I need to mail? I do. I probably do, but I didn't. I haven't. I don't have it ready yet, because I have. I just got the um, envelopes yesterday, mm -hmm. so I have a couple things to mail. But we'll do that tomorrow. We'll get it ready for tomorrow, and tell all your ladies I said hello. Okay, they already said hello to you earlier. <laughs> well, that cat does not like being locked out. I know she doesn't. Okay, so jewelry bits like here's some you know beads. Those make great planets. Marbles make great planets. Jewels, though, like, uh, you know, diamonds and pearl, I mean, uh, emeralds, those kind of jewels. 
they are awesome to look to work in space, but I'm not finding any right like right candy here. But parts of flowers, those are always good. Um, stained glass, I love stained glass pieces. But I'm going to go, I'm going to roll with this now. So, all right. So let's go ahead and you will need, I keep a brush, I pulled it out before I hit record, but this is a, a brush that I keep in water all the time. My glue brushes I keep in water. They're the only brushes that I let stand in water, but I let stand my glue brushes. Okay. And then you're going to need a lot of baby wipes, lots of baby wipes. I just refill this box over and over and over. I use golden matte medium for glue. Um, good luck. <laughs> and I keep a bag or plastic or something over the top so I don't glue my lid to it. I'll start with about this much, I think. That should do me eight of them. <laughs> yeah, good luck at the post office. We went yesterday. I went and mailed out a couple of uh, happy mails yesterday. And, uh, but I do have, I, I was out of the, um, you know, the 9 by 12 manila envelopes that I need to mail, uh, some other things at, in. And, uh, so I have some more happy mail to get ready for tomorrow because I didn't have anything to mail in. Okay, so here we go. This is where, oh, I need a piece of you know, wax paper. So I don't glue the cards to the table. Can you hear the garage door opener? He fixed it yesterday. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, let me, you know what, let me just, here, I'll do this. I'll just move them up out of the way. Let's do this. And we'll just do one by one here. And so this is how we're going to start. Okay, so I just take one. And instead of trying to remember where all the things are on the card, just pick you up a fresh card and work off of a fresh card. Then you can just move everything over. Um, if you have tons of stuff or it's a larger piece like I do in my art journals, if it's that big and you want to remember where everything is, take a picture of it and then work off of your picture so you remember where everything is. Um, yeah, exactly, Galena. So then I just put down a coat of matte medium. See, you got it right here. And then I put, I also put the matte medium on the back of the piece. Uh-oh, it sounds like it's stuck. Uh-oh. He thought he had it fixed yesterday. We'll see. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. Let's go there. And then... <laughs> and then after I get everything down... And again, it doesn't matter if it's hanging over the edge. I'll trim that off later. But actually... Uh-oh. There <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's going to have to work on it again today, I think. It keeps catching on one side, and so, yeah, he thought he had it fixed yesterday. So, okay, and then I'll put a whole, you know, just coat the whole thing with a nice coat, and then we'll set this aside, and get we'll get everything glued down, then I'll go back and trim, and then we start adding paint, okay? So here's like the base. <laughs> Let me put another piece out here to set them on. Okay, so I want this one, this one, and how did I have this? Do I want it like that? Yeah, I think I want that. Okay. So I'll kind of go quick here. And then also, it doesn't hurt to take these little cards like this. It's not so bad, but if you want to make sure you get any wrinkles or anything out, just scrape it down and flat. Make sure everything's flat. You know, just take it so that you don't have any wrinkles or anything like that. And it'll be nice and flat for you. Okay. 
Go back to the next one here. Any questions? Are we good? Does he cuss? Um, not rare. He he rarely gets mad. He's one of those that just he, he rarely gets mad. Seriously. Um, the most I think I would ever see him cuss would be when the Falcons. Uh, you know, something with football or something, and he lets one slip, but not really, not very often. He's just not a, he's not, <laughs> he's a, he's a pretty calm guy, except when it comes to his Falcons, who he's followed since 1966. Then he gets a little perturbed, let's just say. So there's a start for that one. And again, I'll trim off the edges here in a little bit. Let's go to the next one. And the this will start getting, you know, sticky. And you might have to fold it over, use another piece. Um, How do I want this one? Do I want it this way or do I want it this way? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Maybe that way. We'll see. We'll make it work. Okay. And this stuff is hard to get off your hands. So, you know, if you, you don't want to keep baby wipes, kind of keep it you know your hands kind of sort of clean but I usually end up taking it off with fingernail polish remover but also guys I, I sit here for two hours working on this stuff without uh, you know getting it really cleaned off so if you don't have a craft scrubby one of these here. these are the little craft scrubbies and it's just like a little piece of styrofoam stuff but it scrapes it'll get the that works the best for getting the matte medium off your hands. But it's a little, it is hard to get off, let's just say. <laughs> Once it dries on your hands. Move back over there. there we go. Okay. Where's my baby wipe? There it is. And then you go when you go into painting the details in. You know, you can add so much more. One, two more. Hang on, guys. We're getting there. No questions or anything? We all good? eight of them done.
feel it that loop. There we go. Okay. Get it nice and flattened out. Alrighty. I, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know. Is this stuff? Is this stuff y'all like to see? The I mean, because we don't do it that often anymore. We used to do a lot more art cards and more mixed media collage. Um, I think I'm done with the glue. So I'm going to go ahead and put this. If I need it, I'll take it back out. Otherwise, I'll put, I'm going to go put this in my... I have a bucket of water that's just for glue brushes. So I'm going to stick that back in and get a fresh baby wipe. So now that I need something for paint... Um, and I'm not going to use my good scissors on that, so. All right, let's see. If I if I do glue any little a little other little bits, I can always just use um, my Eileen's Tacky. You know, the thing that is another thing that's great about the matte medium when you use the matte medium is the re that you can if you put your acrylic paint. Oh, thanks, Terry. If you put your acrylic paint on, you can wipe it away. You have a barrier here. So if if I did not have matte medium on here, and I just had I just glued these down, let's just say with a glue stick or whatever, the porousness of the magazines will soak up your paint, and you can't wipe it back. You can't manipulate it and move it with your fingers like I like to do. So the matte medium serves a couple purposes. It's a great glue. It keeps everything flat when you mash it down with the card. And you can play with your paint much more than you can if you don't have that on there. Thanks, guys. All right, so real quick now, I'm going to dry these with my heat gun. I'm just going to take a minute to... They don't have to be, you know, I just don't want them sticky wet. get my scissors that are already not the best <laughs> so, so I can turn them over now and trim the excess off Jean heading home yet? I see somebody saying, be careful, Jean. Are you heading home yet from your families, Jean? Okay. chat lag see if Jean's traveling today clean a little bit of Jean's just getting out <laughs> it's 
So y'all are saying telling her to be careful to get out of the bed? <laughs> Dorothy. <laughs> All right, see, I, and I can feel the crustiness of the uh, matte medium still on my hands, but I'll go wash them well with my craft scrubby in a little bit. <laughs> okay, and this right here, guys, I had a cut in my, this is just, I mean, I think there's like 20-something layers of paper on my table, and I cut through on when I was cutting something, so I just put a piece of tape there because otherwise it'll just get bigger and bigger. Okay, so last thing here, let's get some... Um, Let's put, lay these back out and see what kind of paint I want to, what colors of paint I want to get out. Let's move the matte medium and the scissors. And when I'm doing this, I do try to, I kind of like it that way. Um, I do try to... Um, I do try to look at uh, making a whole bunch of them kind of in the same color family. It just makes it easier on the show. But in this case, it looks like we have a couple different options here. Okay. Do I like it that way or this way? I never really... I think I like it that way. i turn them around upside down. So anyway, here's... Let me get my camera. I think I might have bumped it. Let's get these squared up. There we go. Okay, Craft Scrubby takes off matte medium like magic. It does, Jean. It does. But it, uh, it sometimes it still ruins your fingernails, but that's okay. All right. So let me move this pack of stuff out of the way. So I can get to my water. Got to move all my pens from the other projects. And my paint my um sharpeners i gotta make space you think that this big table would not it would be we'd have plenty of room but all right let's move these out of the way all right so now let's put out a fresh piece of paper to paint on i'll do four at a time let's do these can just move them on the paper as I need need to. Your nails are already trashed. Yeah, mine. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they, mine are too. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get out the colors of paint. I always use black and white. So I need those. Let's get black. And I just use um, I just use Americana Deco Art Craft Paint. And I'll probably try to, I don't know if I'll try to zoom in or hold the um, cards up a little bit. Let's move my paper, call me my bookmarks. This one's almost empty. I got another one right there. Okay, black and white. Now I got, this is where you look at your colors and see what you might want to add, you know. Um, I'm liking some red in some of these. And this one I know is almost empty. Uh oh, come on. A little bit of red. <laughs> Where's my baby one? And I need some yellow ochre. Some, maybe some uh, teal. Gosh, I'm going to have to restock my paints if there's so many that are this down. I know I got another one of those. Okay, um, a teal. Do I want a bluegrass green teal or do I want a light? Because I, I like that bluegrass green color. Um, we'll go with that. And let's see what other color. Maybe a brown. A sienna. Let's see. Let me get a sienna here. Where's my sienna? Oh, here we go. Let's go with the... Let's burn orange sienna. It's kind of a little bit lighter than the true sienna. But we'll go with these. I think that'll be good. 
Okay, I think we're going to start with these colors. This, that's not how that works, Didi. No matter the size of the table. Yeah, I know. You fill, up, fill it up, right? Okay, so the first thing I like to do is get rid of all the white. And I usually do that with black. The backs of my cards are all painted black. Here's one that's finished. This is from 2006. This is how I sign them. And I varnish them. So you can see they're shiny, varnished. But I take my black, and I usually start with my finger. I hear the mailman coming down the street. And I usually start getting rid of all the white. Let's see if he gets out. Is he going to get out? I think she's getting out. Nope, she's going to jack it all up inside the... So I'm kind of a big package. She just shoved it in. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> All right, so here's, let me show you this as an example of why the matte medium works. Okay, so it's coated with matte medium. And if I get paint anywhere I don't want it, I can just take a baby wipe and completely wipe it off. And it's because of the matte medium I can do that. If the matte medium wasn't there, you could probably wipe off some, and it's going to depend on the kind of, if you had a shiny calendar page or if you had a matte um, magazine page, it's going to be, it's going to matter. But if you have your matte medium on it, you've put a barrier, you've put a barrier to the, the paint, and so you're able to m manipulate it, move it, and like there's the white torn edge right there pick up a little of that orange this is what I was saying that right that's where um, torn edges come in handy because torn edges will blend much easier than a um, cut edge but let's just say I didn't got too much there I can wipe it back go around that star so you see how we're starting with just getting rid of the white I think I want that to kind of fade into that too. Maybe I want a little bit more mountain or hill there. Just to make it so it's a little more um, landscapey right there. Something like that. So there's my start of this one. And it just starts by getting rid of the white. Thanks, Kate. Hi, by the way. Are you out of school? Well, I guess you are out of school. Okay, I missed cutting that little bit right there. Where's my scissors? It's a little piece I missed cutting off. So, and you can, it doesn't have to all be black. I can mix it up. Like, a, let's put black and yellow ochre in here. And you can make all kinds of textures and stuff. And I'll show you how to do that also with a palette knife. Okay, so I can just... And it's, there's no water in this paint. It's thick, you know. It's acrylic paint with no water. And it doesn't matter what happens on the back because I paint those solid black afterward. After I get all this base coat on them, then I'll show you some things with the palette knife that gives you some cool textures. And of course, if y'all have seen me, been here a lot and have seen me do lots of art cards, then it's not going to be new to you. But um, So because there's matte medium there, I can blend, I can wipe, I can do all kinds of things. Okay, so I'm going to set this one aside. Your cousin's coming to get you tomorrow, Jean? Okay. Well, save travel, sassy. So just, you know, play and blend. And, and this isn't something that I can say, well, you got to do this step one, step two. It's all like, it's so subjective to depending on what you've glued down, what you see in your head. You know, make up a story or, you know, just look at what you've glued down and say, oh, I can see so-and-so in that. Or 
I can imagine this and just, you know, I want a little bit less brightness right there. Put a little yellow in there because there's already yellow right there. So kind of go go with the flow of the colors you picked. So a little orange, <clears throat> maybe a little baby wipe blend, and then get rid of some of the paint. With the, you got to keep. You have to keep, if you want to wipe something away, you got to keep moving your baby wipe around and find a clean spot. Otherwise, you're just, you're, if you use the paint, you'll just be moving the paint around. So if you want to wipe something away, it has to be a clean place. Because you'll go through the baby wipes. Trust me. Okay, we're going to start with that. Had to completely go out of Ustream. Oh, I hope we're not having a, a Ustream issues right before our New Year Streamathon. Come on, you stream. You can do with your fingers, you can blend with a baby wipe, you can blend and then wipe away. Some of the paint off that little characters there. They're going to be in a little cave down there. And you don't have to use your fingers. You can use a brush. But I find that you can get better textures and better, um, It just, you can get more, I guess just the best way to say is textures, if you use your fingers rather than a paintbrush. I just, I find for me. Okay, but you do get a mess. So let me get a fresh baby wipe here. Clean this off and kind of keep moving. Okay, so these three have a little bit more brighter orange, and this is where I wanted to use some of the teal in these, and the in the orange. All right, so this one I'll start with the black at the top here. Okay, then maybe a little more of the orange, the burnt orange down here. Where'd my baby wipe go? Let me get another one. And a little of the yellow ochre. I'm going to show you some texturing here in a minute, but let's just get, get rid of the... I want to get rid of all the uh, white. Let's have that like a vignette, maybe. Okay. All righty. Two more. All right, these are the two that I want the teal in. All right, let's do the black on the edge. down here 
I'm, I think I'll scrape the teal in. That's what I'll do. So let's just go with that. A little less black there. this thanks Eileen all right let's get some more baby wipes you'll I, I mean I literally can go through 20 baby wipes just in one one art card session okay now I am going to hit them with the heat gun real quick go on to the next layer of paint I don't have to get them 100% dry, but I want them so that I'm not scraping this paint around when I put the next layer. I can, I'll zoom in one as well. Let me just go over here and dry these real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little here. I think it's pretty, it'll be pretty focused. Okay, just so you can see some more of the detail. All right, so let's start with these two right here that are, that have the teal in them. Now let me find my palette knife here. Okay. So it's got a little plastic palette knife. <laughs> it's pretty crusty. I should probably clean it off. Eh, eh. Okay, so now I'm going to just pick up a little bit of the teal and a little bit of the uh, orange. And this is how you can, and, and it's it's serendipitous, people. You can't really, I mean, you can plan a little bit of it, but you really aren't in charge of it. It's going to be what it's going to be. However, if you don't like it, you can wipe it away, some of it anyway, because of the... Uh, uh, matte medium but I'm going to also be going over acrylic paint so again if you catch it when it's soaking wet you could wipe it back but I usually just try to roll with most of it so I'm going to got those two colors on here what I want to do is just put some texture like I want it to be kind of textury can you see that and it's just not something you can really you can't say, oh, I want exactly a hump right there. Now, you can take your point here, and let's just say you wanted a little bit of a bit right there. You can manipulate it a little bit, but you're scraping on paint, and you're kind of letting letting it do what it wants to do. See what I mean, Vern? Maybe I want a little bit more of the orange right in here. You can just pick up the colors that you want. I don't want black right there. Whoops. See, I got black on here. Hang on. I got my colors too close to each other there, and I picked up black accidentally. So let's wipe that away. Go back into the orange there and just kind of put a little bit of... It's just you can't plan it too much. You can't plan it. <laughs> okay um yeah yeah <laughs> there's not a lot of okay so now i'm gonna sp i'm gonna sprinkle some stars and things in here in a little bit but i just want to add a little texture to these right and i also wanted to show y'all how i'm gonna do it all right so i'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the orange and the teal on this one and again i'm gonna just gently if it's too much wipe it back a little and kind of just scrape it in there I just want a little bit of that teal color down there. Too much. Let's just back and back. Okay, a little bit of the orange. So you're kind of just making like little 
it, this is, might end up being water. It might end up being hills. It might end up being, I don't know. You know, we're, we'll see what it ends up being. Because when I go to paint in details, that's when they start, like, more, more. You know, and then we can put a little color pencil. I think it needs just a little black in the corners. Down this corner, anyway. It's a little dark down there. Okay. Okay. There's two of them. This one I want a little bit more of the orange and the yellow. So I've got the orange and the yellow there. I want that to be a little faded in there. Nice knife work. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> and I got my baby wipes here and cleaned my palette off just sitting there. <laughs> All right, this one I'm going to just take some black. And I want it. I don't want too much. I just want to kind of texture it a little. So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add some water here I mean a white here in a minute stars and water and stuff okay okay that's all I'm gonna put on that one this one I might add do I want a little blue in this one maybe now nah, let's see I'm gonna start with some more of the this might have some water splashing down I might have water coming down and having like pooling up here and splashing like this could be like a like a um, not a moat but a, like some kind of a dam and the dam could have broken right here and now the water's coming down from the dam okay let's see this one I'll add some orange maybe a little bit of red Let's add some red and orange in this one. You have to like get a light touch. You push too hard, you'll you'll lose that textury effect. some of the orange the, well let's go with it a little more red okay now I'm going to dry these real quick hang on fresh baby white all right let's dry these Then we're going to go in with the detail.
need a little uh, tray here. Let's see. Let's get a small of these. Let's get a small coffee lid. And let's take some of this white here. Because I just want to water that down. So I'll just spray that water. I don't want all the white. I don't want all of it watered down. And I don't want this watered down. I just want that watered down. Let me find a brush here. Let's see. Okay. So now I'm going to add some stars. And it might end up, I might have to add more if I want water splashes. Uh, thanks, guys. So I'm going to add some stars here. Let's get this, maybe one more squirt. Can I kind of tap it off first over here, and then I'll do it over here? Because the splatters will be big at first. Okay. And again, if I put water down here, I'll probably want some splashes down there. Now, like right there. Let's just say I don't want anything right there. I can just wipe it away, you know. Okay, so I'm going to go through each one real quick and add a little bit of star stuff and maybe some water splashes where, I'm, where I know I'm going to put water. Maybe I just want some of this one on the top. Oh, but I am going to have water splashes down there. I forgot. Of course, I have all space down here. And then we go back in. I'll dry this, and I'll go back in with more detail. Like, that looks like it needs a tree right there. And if I paint over any of these uh, uh, stars <laughs> or water spot, if I paint over them, I can always just go back in and add more. And if they get where I don't want them, just wipe them away. Like I don't want any right there. Okay. Now let me dry these real quick. Okay, Hubster's home. Let's see. Oh, the garage door didn't work. Uh-oh. He's going to have to get out and push on the edge. Remember, he was working on it yesterday when I was at Janet's. And these do take, the, the little splatters take a little longer because they, uh-oh, did I miss this one? Here, I missed one. Hang on. Um, because they're kind of thick, it is kind of thick, you know, paint is sitting on top of paint here. Whoops. Let's come over here. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Kate. We're going to add some planets and some water and some auras. Nebula, I call it nebulization. <laughs> or I guess we could say nebbies for short. <laughs> anyway, we're going to put nebulas and stuff in there. Okay, so now let's just set them aside one by one. Let's do these two teal ones first. And I know that all that's not quite dry yet, some of those stars. I have a feeling I'll be out there helping him with the garage, holding it up so he can put on the springs and fix, tighten the coils and all that. 
But he is checking the mail for me, though. Yeah, there's some stuff jammed in there. <laughs> Maybe it was just a magazine. Okay, now, so now what I want to do, let's start with these two. Now I think I can pretty much take away the wax paper here. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to think about what I want to do with each one. So let's just say, where's my paintbrush? I'll use the back end of it. <laughs> All right, let's just say I want another planet or something right here. Let's just put one in. Maybe I want one there, because it right where that thing comes up there. Now, I also might want some of this to have a highlight of. I might have to set this down, guys, because I don't know if my hand's going to be steady enough cross over here so I love doing these little details like this but it's also the hardest to see on camera hopefully you can see and it's also the time when I sit in my head and I go shh, 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 shh. <laughs> and I tell you everything's got to be nice and quiet and I can concentrate <laughs> I know, right? You'll figure it out. All right, now I'm going to dry this real quick. And the reason I want to dry that is because I want to take pencil to it. Let me move this other tray here. Oh. And you have to have it dry before you take your pencil and stuff. Let me get some blue, some orange. I love these are my go-to nebula colors. I'm going to brighter orange. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So now I want to take my white pencil and I want to start adding some. more detail and stuff. And then I'll paint the hands and the watch in here too. Okay. And then a Posca paint pen or a Sharpie. Here's a Sharpie. I'll use either one. A Sharpie or a Posca are good for adding star shine. And you could use a brush for this too. It's just um, it's easier with the details. Make sure I got one that's working though. That I didn't go dragging through acrylic paint, wet acrylic paint. Okay, I might have to find another one because this one's not going to draw me a straight line. It's barely working. All right, let's let's find another one. Hang on, gotta move some stuff out of the way to get to it. Get to this box. I know I got a Posca here somewhere. There's another Sharpie. Where's my Posca though? See if this one's working. Mm. Yeah, see some of these I've I've gone through acrylic paint so many times. I had one out. And now I can't find it. I know it's stuck in here with these markers. Let me, let me, let me see if I got another one up here. I have to open a new one. Let me open a new Posca. Hey, hey, Suze, how's it going? Let me get it going. It's a new one. Got to pump and prime it. Come on, really? Did I get, did I just open a bad one? That's not even going to work? 
No, oh, there it goes. Okay, now that just took a minute. It's your last day of vacation. Oh, okay. All right, now one. And I'll probably put a little thing right here, like with this with watch. Okay, and I gotta let that or hit it with the heat gun. Alright, now I'm gonna get my back end of my paintbrush here. Put a little bit of center here. A little orange or yellow maybe on there. And probably just a dot of white to make a little center thing. Dee Dee needs to go back to Michael's and get more paint. <laughs> I got some sitting around here. I just got to dig them out. Okay, now I need a little shadow. Dark blue. Dark blue. Here's a dark blue. No, I don't know. The teal. Just go with that. Maybe one a little bit more star shine here. Glow. A little bit more glow. And maybe maybe an orange one. Let's have let me get our yellow right back in here. Make it a little bigger. I'm just using the back end of a paintbrush to make a planet. All right, let's dry. I'll put a little bit of orange around it. Something like that. And then if there's any stars that you might think, well, I just need a couple little tinier ones here and there. And you want to be uh, very specific as to where they are. You know, you can add your own. Yeah, I don't want like that one there. And add a few strategic ones where the splatters didn't go exactly where you want it. Now I think I want to do maybe just a little bit of a water thing here. Let me get a uh, different brush, get a tiny brush here. This will probably work. So now I'm gonna go back into my unwatered down paint, my white here. And let's just do a little splash or a little stream. Very subtle. Keep it subtle. Something like that. Let me water it down a little on the side here. Something like that. Okay, so I think that one's done. Although I do see one. Where's my white pencil? I think this does need a little bit of a another, almost like a but like another a moon reflection of that one like a well it comes out that little door there something like that that's better that's better I 
Okay, I'm going to call that one done, I think. Okay, let's go to this one. Let's see what I want to do with this. I think it needs a little bit of a glow. Let's go let's start with the posk. It's easier to smear here. Make that one orange. Okay, and then this is kind of like a cliff with some broken down buildings. If y'all remember, that started out with the tips of boats. Oh, thanks, Diane. That was the tips of some boats in a wa in the water. See, look. Try to look. Remember. See, look. There's the water. There's the boats. But look. Now we got. Now we got a cliff. That water's turned into a rocky cliff, and those are like broken down buildings. See? Then you can just play with a little bit more. And then I think I'll have a little bit of. And then a little bit of okay. Then my watch hands. I'm gonna have it come from over here. I'm gonna have a short one and a long one. It'll come cut through like that. Like it'll cut through a. Uh, there. Okay, let me dry that. And different people see different things in it. That's what's so cool about it. You know, that's what I love about like surrealism. And, you know, it's just that you, then you can see so many things and different people see different things. You know, it's that's what's awesome about it to me anyway. You see what's in you. All right. Where's my other brush? This brush here. Okay. Let's add a little bit of blue back to that. There we go. Shh,
just started doing washes in Kirby's coloring book. Can't wait to use the color pencils. Yeah. Well, I hope everybody's working along. If you're not gabbing over here, like some people. Not going to mention Terry and Paco, I mean, uh, Prisma. <laughs> okay, now. But you see, this is, I love doing this part. Oh, wait, I don't need my brush for that. I love doing this part because it's just the fun little details. But it's also the, you know, the you got to kind of sit and be be still when you do this. This is the, the shh, 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 shh part. <laughs> I'm not sure if I like it on there. There we go. That's just on this one side. Kind of do a little time jump there. Okay. All right. The last thing I'm just going to do is maybe add, let me get a turquoise. Or a turquoise. Mm, green here. I don't know if that's going to show up. Might have to do it with orange. Might have to do it with paint. Okay. So there we go. There's that one. <laughs> Just see if you're awake, Terry. <laughs> Julie Topaz just picked up my markers to color. Had a couple of hours of work and stuff to do before fun. Okay. You're still working? I mean, Julie Topaz posts something every day. Literally. Alright, there's those two. So we got those two with the teal done. I think. I think, I think, I think. Maybe this needs just a little bit more. One little. It has to hit right there, though. Okay. There we go. There's two done. Two done out of eight. Listening to the answers. <laughs> mm. Let me check my time here. How we doing? Okay, we're good. We're good. Probably finish these up in another maybe 30 minutes. We should probably finish up the last six. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Let's do some mist on this one. Let's do an, um, this one's, this is another kind of cool technique. Take your baby wipe, clean spot, pick up some paint and mash it into the baby wipe. See, I'm mashing it into the baby wipe. And now you can do some mist. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. A little bit of mist, maybe a little bit more up there. Okay, now let's dry that. Put in a couple extra planets. Let's put one right there. That I need a little bit more. Maybe a little paint here on this one. Don't be afraid to change anything. A little bit of glow on that. Maybe right here where the mist and the planet meet. 
There'll be a little bit of a star shine there. Let's see. Or I could just put the watch hands there. Okay, let's try this. There's a couple weird shooting stars there. Like they're going, well, in my head, I know what they're doing. <laughs> All right, let me get my brush back here. a little more in there, I think. Okay. Okay, I'm going to call that one done. Okay, next. Okay. This one I know I want this to be a nice bright star shine right here. Y'all still with the tour? Everybody still with the tour? <laughs> uh, I'm in the zone, people.
too dark right there. That's not going to work. I'm going to have to paint it. Brush, brush, brush. Let's add some more. Hmm. Do I want blue? No, I don't want blue. Eh, I don't want any color right there. Just going to get rid of the black line. Some mist right there, I think. I think that's what it needs mist. It needs mist. Janet's fallen asleep in the shower. <laughs> she has. <laughs> Did she go take a shower? I thought she was going out today. I'm surprised she's here at all, to tell you the truth. I thought she was going to town today. She's got to go to Michael's, you know. She's got to get some of that planner stuff. Don't, don't let her kid you. Oh, yeah, she's getting some of that planner stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, she is. All right, I need a little bit of There we go. It's to cut across right there. It's not enough. There we go. Do I want it to come over it? Probably. That's better. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave that. Again, smelly butt right <laughs> Janet. <laughs> okay, and then the orange right in there. Not too much. I almost got too much. Let's go back with a little black. There we go. Shh, shh, shh. Mm. Kind of need that almost brighter or not there at all. I think I'm going to... I think this needs to be gone. This needs to go into the depth. This needs to go into the depths. more stars to that. I like that better. Where's my splatter? This is my watered down paint here. Okay. 
All right, then I'm going to call that one done. What do I got left? I got four. I got still got four more to go. I don't know, people. I might be pushing it. All right, this one. Let's see if I can do them a little quicker here. Sorry I'm not talking much, guys. Kind of just in the zone to try to kind of get these done. Uh, I was hoping to get all eight of them done here in three hours or less. Let's shadow that a little.
Okay, I should varnish one so y'all can see them varnished. I think I'll put that third. I don't know to do with paint. Maybe just the smallest bit of brightness in these. To do it with paint. Where's my brush? Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, three more to go. I don't know if we're going to finish. I wanted to varnish a couple of them for you. Not that it's hard to varnish, but I just like to show show you guys. What time is it? Let's see. Let me check my time. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, I'll save that one for last. I'm not even, not even really loving that one, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. Let's do this one. See what I mean about... <laughs> you can't get it become a hot mess with this thanks y'all all right let's do this one I, I know i wanted water splashing down on this one okay so let's let's go with this one some fog and mist over there. This is splashing up here. I'll put some in there with Posca, I think. I put a little rock in there or something. in there. Let me dry that. Oh, 
little sparks little sparks as it breaks the plane of that light right back there I think this could go with a little bit of, I'm going to go with my palette knife here. So this is going over this wet paint with my Posca. This is where I get into trouble ruining my <laughs> ruining my Poscas. little bit of nebulization here. Crying. Okay, the only thing is it's right here. It needs to, there we go. Fade a little. with that <laughs> okay what do we got one more left this one yeah well I'm not going to work on this because so I'm not going to have time that's going to be a lot of finagling in that one and uh, I want to I want to have time to uh, varnish so I think this one needs a little bit of mist or water let's go with mist well I don't know kind of want to go with water where's my brush <laughs> Same thing for this. So I think I'll just go with the uh, palette knife here. And then I'll mist that up there. I want this to stay inside that plane, though. Inside that, this rocky outcrop. This is like a rocky, rocky bit here. And this is inside of it. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
right now let's mist around it let me get a clean baby wipe <laughs> Just keep my rocks there. What do y'all think? How's that one looking? I think it's time to stick a fork in me. I'm done. <laughs> I need some sustenance. I need some food. Okay, so I think that one we're going to call that done. Now I'm going to go ahead and back out. Let me move my stuff out of the way here. Let's get the seven I finished. And it'll varnish one. Let me dry that though. I gotta make sure you wanna make sure they're dry before you varnish it. So let me <clears throat> let me um I'll show you the varnish. I just use the Delta Ceram Coat Gloss Exterior Interior Varnish. Oh, see what happened here. I gotta move up here. There we go. There we go. And when you put the varnish, I'll let you see what it looks like before and after. Okay, so here's without the varnish. I mean, they're, they're fine, but it just gives it a little bit of. Uh, it makes it all kind of cohesive when you put the varnish on. And all I do is I just put like one score. Oh, this is a new bottle. It hasn't been opened, I don't think. Is this one? Yeah, let me. This, I grabbed the new bottle. That's okay. Let me just go ahead and open it. And this is like $10.99. I get it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, Michaels used to sell this. They apparently do not sell this anymore. But any water-based varnish gloss varnish 
any water base. I just like this. It's ceram coat. Okay, so what I do is I just put about the size of a... Oh my gosh, look what I just did. Oh my gosh. I just squirted a blob out. I just wanted the size of a dime. Hang on, let me just wipe some off. Okay. All right, so what I usually do is put a squirt in the center about the size of a nickel, you know, right in the middle. And then I just take my finger and smooth it all out like that and let it dry overnight okay and it has a little bit of a milkiness to it but it dries perfectly clear let's see if you can see that and i the reason i use my finger is it keeps it nice and smooth um if you're doing a a, a big <laughs> if you're doing a big journal page use a sponge brush not a brush brush because a brush will leave brush marks and a sponge brush will not leave marks. Okay, let me show you. Here's one that's, um, hang on, let me clean my hands off. Hang on. <laughs> I just varnished myself. <laughs> yeah, just one dot, right? This was a new bottle, you know, and I just, I just squirted it. Okay. Um, here, here's one that's, well, let me see which one. Uh, any of them will work. But you can see here's one that's dry. See? See how they look when they're done? See how the black just looks blacker? And it just looks so much vibrant. Let me get another one here. Here's another one. See? Here's one that's not varnished. Oh, this one might show up good because it's got a lot of black in it. See? Can you see the difference? This one doesn't have any varnish and this one does. It's hard to tell on camera. But anyway, so let me, tr let's, let's do that again. <laughs> one little squeeze, probably about that much. Look, it's about the size of a dime. And I just take my finger and I just roll it around in there and then just kind of push it off the edge. Now, if you've got a lot of color pencil on there, you got to be careful you don't rub your color pencil off. If you scrub it, you can do that. Just if, but if you just do a light little brush off like that. See? And it'll dry flat and it'll dry clear. i got to put these on a thing, though, because I don't want them to stick to my table. But make sure you're done because you can't add, once these are varnished, you can't go back in there and, and do anything with it. Um, you could do matte varnish if you like matte. I like the gloss on it. It makes it look more, more. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the gloss on it. So. But remember, you make sure you're done. And I sign all mine on the back. Uh, you know, I, um, I paint them black and sign them on the back. But you you got to make sure you're, you're done because you can't go back and paint over this varnish. So that's all I do is just kind of do that. See, I had seven of them. Here we go. And it's thick enough, I, you know, I put it on thick enough that you don't, uh, that it's gliding. My finger's gliding over the top. I'm not like rubbing into it, you know. And you don't have to use your fingers if you don't like to touch the varnish. Use it, but use a sponge brush, not a brush, because you'll leave brush marks. Oops, that was a little much. Oh, <laughs> well. You don't need that much. About the size of a dime is all you need on these little cards. There we go. And I'll leave them overnight. Don't don't think they're dry till you let them dry overnight. Okay, so there's the seven we got done. I'll take a picture of them and post them on Twitter. But I think that's pretty good. The desk isn't too bad. It's not as bad as... Look, I'll show you. So here's my desk at the end of the session. It's not too bad. <laughs> Let's 
So I'll take a picture of them all so you can see them close up. This is what they look like in the back. I don't varnish the backs. That's just flat matte on the back. And I sign it, put a little star system on it, and sign it. And that's it. Here's another one that I've done. This one's done. This one has lightning in it. Three planets. <laughs> well, but you also got to remember, um, Terry, after everything I do, I completely clean everything. So this is all just from this session. Um, I will completely clean this desk before I do anything else. So sometimes when we do a couple projects here, it's really bad because, you know, <laughs> we don't clean up uh, in between here, between the video, you know. But anyway, so I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all enjoyed the little um, planner haul earlier. And then all these, I will, as soon as I wash my hands, I'll line these up and take a picture of them. So, yeah, I do. I have to clean up in between. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed that. And where's my, and remember today was hump day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know if anybody else is streaming today. I think Janet went off and um, off shopping. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks. Y'all are welcome. Thanks for being here. And everybody watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. And we'll catch y'all next time. All right, guys. Bye.